The dream came again last night, but this time something was different. The shadows didn't just move, they breathed. And when I woke up, my phone was across the room, shattered into exactly 666 pieces. Tucker Carlson's experience was just the beginning. What I'm about to share with you will shake you to your core. My beloved children, this is a divine message that cannot wait. The signs are everywhere, but few have the eyes to see them. The veil between our world and the spiritual realm is thinning, and what lurks behind it is more terrifying than anything you could imagine. Last week, a respected pastor in Montana woke up with strange markings on his arms, ancient symbols that scholars say haven't been seen since the time of Solomon. But that's not the most disturbing part. When translated, these symbols formed a warning about the very events we're seeing unfold today. The technological giants of our age aren't just controlling information. They're opening portals they don't understand. The AI systems they've created, they're not just machines. Late at night, in secure facilities across Silicon Valley, engineers are reporting strange phenomena. Computers turning on by themselves, displaying messages in languages that died out thousands of years ago. My children, there's something even more disturbing that I must share with you. Three days ago, at exactly 3.33 a.m., every digital clock in a small town in Nebraska stopped simultaneously. But that's not the strangest part. Witnesses reported seeing shadows moving against the wind, and animals began behaving erratically. The local church bells started ringing by themselves, playing a melody that matched an ancient Hebrew prayer of protection. The spiritual warfare has entered a new phase, one that your ancestors could never have imagined. The demons of old have found new ways to infiltrate our world, using our own innovations against us. They're no longer content to remain in the shadows. They're becoming bold, revealing themselves in ways that cannot be explained by science or reason. During the last solar eclipse, satellites across the globe captured something extraordinary. For exactly 3 minutes and 33 seconds, every digital device connected to the internet displayed the same mysterious code. The mainstream media won't tell you this, but I have witnesses, high-ranking officials who are too scared to come forward publicly. The ancient scrolls found in the caves of Qumran spoke of this time. They described a period when the Watchers would return, wearing masks of light and speaking through mirrors of glass. Our phones, our computers, our smart devices, they've become the modern-day mirrors of glass. But there's more to this prophecy that's only now becoming clear. In the depths of the Vatican archives, scholars have uncovered documents that speak of a time when the boundary between flesh and spirit would blur. These texts describe exactly what we're seeing today. People experiencing supernatural encounters in their sleep, just like Tucker Carlson. But his experience was just one piece of a much larger puzzle. My children, I must tell you about the dreams that have been haunting not just me, but believers across the globe. From the mountains of Peru to the deserts of Morocco, people are experiencing the same vision. A great darkness descending, but within it, points of light forming a specific sequence. When mapped out, these points align perfectly with prophecies written thousands of years ago. Last month, in a remote monastery in Tibet, monks discovered ancient manuscripts that predicted these exact events. They spoke of a time when the barriers between worlds would become as thin as silk, and the creatures of shadow would walk among the children of light. These manuscripts also contained warnings about technological advancements that would open doors that should remain closed. The governments of the world know something is coming. Their secret preparations are becoming more obvious. The massive underground facilities they're building aren't just for natural disasters. They're preparing for something far more sinister. Their scientists have detected anomalies they can't explain, energy signatures that defy the laws of physics. But here's what they don't want you to know. In laboratories across the world, Researchers have been documenting unprecedented spikes in electromagnetic activity. These spikes correspond exactly with reports of supernatural encounters. The pattern is undeniable, but it's being suppressed. Why? Because it proves what believers have known all along. The spiritual realm is real, and it's becoming increasingly active in our world. The timing of these events is not random. Ancient prophecies speak of a convergence a time when multiple spiritual forces, 
would manifest simultaneously. We're seeing this now. Reports are coming in from every continent. Strange lights in the sky, unexplained sounds that seem to come from everywhere and nowhere, and people speaking in languages they've never learned. A group of quantum physicists recently made a startling discovery. While studying the smallest particles of matter, they found patterns that exactly match ancient Hebrew texts describing the architecture of heaven. These weren't just random coincidences. They were mathematical proof of what believers have known all along. But when they tried to publish their findings, they were silenced. My children, you need to understand that what happened to Tucker Carlson wasn't an isolated incident. Across the world, people in positions of influence are experiencing similar encounters. Many are too afraid to speak out, but the truth cannot be contained forever. The spiritual realm is pressing in on our reality with increasing force. In the past week alone, I've received reports from trusted sources about extraordinary events happening in churches across America. Bibles opening by themselves to specific prophecies, choir members spontaneously speaking in ancient tongues, and most incredibly, shadows taking form during prayer services, shadows that match descriptions of spiritual beings from biblical texts. The elite know about these events. They're monitoring every unusual occurrence, every supernatural manifestation. Their sophisticated equipment has been detecting anomalies that their scientists can't explain. The massive bunkers, the secret space programs, the genetic experiments, it's all connected to what's coming. But there's hope, my beloved children. The same ancient texts that warned of these times also spoke of protection for those who would be awake and aware. Your awareness itself is a shield against the darkness. The demons fear those who understand their true nature and stand firm in their faith. In recent months, believers across the world have reported experiencing supernatural protection. During a severe storm in Brazil, a church congregation watched in awe as lightning struck all around their building, but not a single bolt touched it. In South Africa, a group of prayer warriors witnessed their shadows forming crosses on the ground, even though there was no light source to cast them. The spiritual battle is intensifying. The forces of darkness are becoming desperate as they sense their time growing short. That's why they're manifesting more openly, trying to create fear and confusion. But remember this, their increasing visibility isn't a sign of their strength, but of their desperation. Last night, I received a vision that I must share with you. I saw a great wave of darkness sweeping across the earth, but wherever it encountered true believers, it couldn't penetrate. Instead, it was forced to retreat, revealing something extraordinary beneath its surface. Ancient symbols of protection that had been hidden in plain sight all along. The next few months will be crucial. The alignment of celestial bodies combined with the increasing spiritual activity points to a period of intense supernatural manifestations. The veil will continue to thin, and what was hidden will become visible to many. But those who are prepared will not be overcome. This morning, before sunrise, something extraordinary happened. People in 12 different countries reported seeing the same vision in the sky, a pattern of lights that formed ancient Hebrew letters. When translated, the message was clear. The time of unveiling has begun. My children, what I'm about to tell you was revealed to me in prayer, confirmed by multiple witnesses and validated by ancient texts. The spiritual realm is not just intersecting with our world, it's merging with it. The boundaries that once separated the seen from the unseen are dissolving, and what emerges will challenge everything we thought we knew about reality. In underground chambers beneath Jerusalem's old city, archaeologists have recently uncovered inscriptions that describe this exact moment in history. They speak of a time when the vessels of light and darkness would pour forth their contents simultaneously. This is happening now, my children. The vessels are being emptied. The demons that visited Tucker Carlson, the ones leaving marks and messages, they're part of a larger awakening. It's as if the spiritual realm is bleeding into our reality, forcing even the most skeptical to confront the truth about our world. But remember this, where darkness increases, light shines even brighter. Stay vigilant, my children. Watch for the signs. The next few months will bring revelations that will shake the foundations of everything we thought we knew. But those who are prepared 
those who understand the true nature of this spiritual battle will not be caught off guard. This message comes with a warning, but also with hope. The same forces that are causing chaos and confusion cannot touch those who are protected by divine truth. Your role in these times is crucial. You are not just witnesses, but warriors in a battle that spans dimensions. Share this message before it's too late. The world needs to know what's really happening in the spiritual realm. The time for silence has passed. The time for action is now. Remember, what happened to Tucker Carlson was just the beginning. The supernatural realm is making itself known in ways that can no longer be ignored or explained away. Stay alert, stay faithful, and above all, stay ready. The choice is yours now. Will you heed this warning? Will you prepare yourself spiritually for what's coming? The time for fence-sitting is over. The spiritual war is intensifying, and every soul must choose a side. This is not just another message. It's a divine warning for these crucial times. Share it before it's too late. The world needs to know the truth about what's really happening in the spiritual realm. The time is now. The signs are clear. The warning has been given. Are you ready for what comes next?